Good evening and welcome graduates, families, and honored guests to our combined 2020-2021 ISAP GED graduation ceremony. Will everyone please rise for the Star Spangled Banner. Thank you. You may be seated. My name is Ann Nave, and I am fortunate enough to work with this program every single day and watch amazing things happen in the classroom and beyond. On behalf of the high school GED staff and everyone here this evening, I extend to these graduates a sincere congratulations on how far you've come so far. Before we begin our program, I would like to take a moment and introduce some honored guests that we have with us this evening. Um, from the WJCC School Board, we have uh, Mr. Kelly, our chair. Other board members, uh, Dr. Beers, up in the back corner. Ms. Ownby. Not sure if Mr. Dowell made it with us. From the James City County Board of Supervisors, Dr. McLennan is here. We have our Assistant Superintendent, Dr. Worley, our Chief Operations Officer, Mr. Kiever, and finally, down in the front, our Superintendent, Dr. Heron. Thank you all for taking the time to honor our graduates this evening. Another huge thank you goes out to all of the Williamsburg James City County staff from Jamestown, Lafayette, and Warhill. Getting the students here is no small feat, and the students, can, they could speak for it all. Um, everybody in this audience has played a part in them being on this stage this evening. Thanks to central office staff who have supported these graduates tonight for indirectly. We also want to just take a moment to appreciate the fact that there are so many competing events happening this time of year. There are award ceremonies happening, there are sporting events happening, there are other graduation ceremonies happening. So the fact that you chose to attend our GED graduation is really, really special for us. Another special thank you to Dr. Miani for allowing us to use the uh, Lafayette High School Auditorium this year and for the use of the facilities um, and the Lafayette staff who helped make that possible. As always, I'm delighted to recognize the Jamestown Lafayette Honors Orchestra, who are now in the back. You didn't even see them or hear them leave, did you? They're back in the back. under the direction of Ms. Mary Dart, who is absolutely amazing as well. Please join me in thanking them for their extraordinary talent. They, they never disappoint year to year to year. They are absolutely amazing. Thank you. <laughs> Finally, I would be completely remiss if I did not acknowledge and thank our transportation staff. They, they're not with us this evening, but um, due to COVID restrictions and limit, limits on how many people we could have, you know, we had to be very mindful in the numbers that we have in our audience. But our transportation staff works every single day 
organizing bus routes that change daily, sometimes multiple times a day, and bus drivers that are so patient and forgiving and understanding when we have issues that we're dealing with on a day, daily basis. Thank you to the transportation staff. Thank you to the bus drivers. We, we the students, we would not be standing here right now if it weren't for them. So I, I really have to thank them. At this time, I will invite our superintendent, Dr. Heron, to the stage to share a message with our graduates, and she will be followed by our chair of the school board, Mr. Kelly. Thank you very much, Dr. Nev. Good evening, GED graduates, families, and honored guests. Thank you for being here this evening for this really important event. Tonight, we are here to celebrate the accomplishments of hardworking and successful men and women who have earned their GED. Earning the diploma is quite an achievement. It takes commitment, tenacity, and sharp focus on the future and what you want to achieve. Students, your accomplishments remind me of a saying. The journey of a thousand miles begins with a single step. You have taken the first important step on this journey this evening by earning your GED. And it also means that the journey will continue with other important steps, for example, your first job or your first college course. Each of these will be milestones that you and your family who are here with you this evening will be able to see and to celebrate. By earning this diploma, we know you have opened the doors to better and more career opportunities or continue in your education. We are very proud of you and of your accomplishments this evening. You've prepared yourself well for the journey ahead and you've taken the next steps towards a bright future. Congratulations and we wish you every success. Thank you, and now I'd like to welcome Mr. Kelly, Chair of the School Board, who will say a few words. I'm a little taller than Dr. Heron is. So, thank you, Dr. Heron. Um, good evening. Uh, I have to admit, this is one of my most favorite events of the year. It is the first of our end of year graduation activities, but it's also the one that I find most meaningful. I know that it's not easy to meet all the requirements for this diploma. Each of you had to show a tremendous commitment to achieve this goal, and you could have quit at any time, but you did not. You've had so many challenges in completing this program. Life in general has obstacles with demands of family and jobs and all the rest, but add COVID on top of that. Man, how easy it would have been just to just stop, but you did not. It is my privilege to be here tonight to celebrate your graduation because the celebration of a life-changing feat, earning a high school diploma. Everyone who has received a diploma tonight has overcome so many obstacles to get to the stage. You made the decision to prevail and to triumph. You made the decision to graduate. The resiliency you have learned firsthand through this process will serve you well as you meet and surmount other challenges in your life. The grit and determination you have shown, ha shown have already transformed who you are. Every one of you is now a successful graduate who is ready to take on the next challenge, and the challenge after that, and the challenge after that. On behalf of the school board, I give my congratulations to each and every one of you, and I add my thanks to that of each of the graduates for those who supported them in achieving this milestone. Whether you are a family member, a parent, a child, a boyfriend, a girlfriend, or just a caring advocate, your graduate would not be here without your support. So thank you. All of you have my utmost respect. It is my privilege to share this evening with you. I wish you all the best in your future endeavors. Thank you. Thank you both for your kind remarks. 
Before we hear from our student speakers this evening, I have to recognize our staff, Ms. Stedman and Mr. Swenson. I cannot convey to you all how committed these two teachers are to their students and to the GED program. Talk about meeting students' needs. These two individuals have done whatever it takes to help these students get to this stage. They project positivity day in and day out. They're in constant communication with each student so they can stay on top of what needs to happen to get them to this point. They come up with creative ways to teach individual students what they need to earn this credential. There's no whole group lesson plan that's done every day for these students. There are 20 plus separate lesson plans each and every day that are written specifically for each student. And then we throw in the chauffeuring students to, to and from test sites when they need, they need that little extra help. So thank you, Mrs. Stedman and Mr. Swenson for all you've done for these graduates. It doesn't seem like a strong enough phrase, but thank you. And it is now time to hear from our student speakers. Mr. Swenson will introduce them. Thank you, Dr. Nave. One of the wonderful things about uh, being a teacher in this program is something that Mr. Kelly hit on, and that is we get to witness a transformation in each student, each individual student goes through a transformation. They're often very uncertain when they arrive in our program, not sure if this is the best path for them, not sure what the outcome will be, but always, always they find their stride and find their potential and come out as a graduate. That was the case, this major transformation with our first guest speaker tonight, and she is going to tell you a sum about that. So without further ado, I introduce you to Shakina Ford. Okay, give me a minute. <laughs> okay. Good evening, everyone. My name is Shakina Ford, and I stand before you tonight as a proud graduate of the high school GED program. Many people have supported my journey to this stage, to my teachers, my family, all the people who helped with this accomplishment, I say thank you. To my fellow graduates, I say congratulations. And to each and every one of you who showed up here tonight, I am truly grateful for the support you are offering. Your presence here tonight tells me and my fellow graduates that you understand we have found a different path to success. You understand that traditional high school works for many students, but not for everyone. You understand that some students who walk the halls of high school are putting on a brave face, even smiling from time to time, but underneath there's often a struggle you can't see. You understand that we all have potential, but some of us need another place to let it shine. The past year and a half has been a challenge for everyone. Some students were able to give, to, sorry, some students were able to keep going even when the high school buildings closed. But many of us were struggling with the struggles of high school in the first place, but the pandemic placed another obstacle in our path. For those who, those of us who knew how to overcome obstacles, that was just another hill to be climbed, and we did it. We have learned along the journey that there will be people who say, you can't do it. There will be those who criticize and belittle for the going a different direction, but, for, but who, mm, <laughs> sorry. There will be those who criticize and belittle for going a different direction when everybody else stays on the main highway. But to, to my fellow graduates and everyone who else, everyone else who sees the road less traveled and decides to take it, I say that you are in control of your own destiny. Listen to what your head and your heart. Listen, listen to what's in your head and your heart. We all did this, and I am proud to say, look where we are now. Thank you once again for those who, thank you once again for being here with us tonight and for recognizing that graduation is only the beginning of the great 
things to come. I'm done. Thank you very much, Shakina. Those are very meaningful words. Uh, this evening, we have two guest speakers because, as you have probably noticed from looking at the program, we combined last year's graduation or graduates and this year's graduates for this graduation ceremony. And for our, our second guest speaker this evening, you know, if you could put 1,000 feet of personality into five feet of person, that would describe the next student speaker. She brought joy to our classroom last year. Uh, however, we weren't able to celebrate the culmination of, of her accomplishment and the, uh, her classmates. So she brought joy to us again this year when she agreed to be our student speaker. Please welcome Rosie Zeladon Pineda. Good evening. My name is Rosie Zeladon Panetta, and I am here tonight representing the GED graduates of 2019 and 2020. Thank you be for being here tonight to celebrate this occasion with us, and thanks to everyone who supported us along the way. Like many of my fellow graduates here on stage, high school had been a challenge because I had several different obstacles standing in the way. For me personally, I had a baby, which meant that my life was revolving around the needs of an infant instead of around a bell schedule. I knew what the easy path would have been. Dropping out of high school would have allowed me to take care of my baby and find work to support him. I heard from some people who said I could never finish high school with a baby. But I also knew that I was no longer living just for myself. Now I was living life for another person. I knew I had to earn a GED to make a better future, not only for me, but for my little peanut. When I finished the GED in January of 2020, I felt like I had secured a better future for myself and for my son. The idea of doing the right thing for others soon came to have a larger meaning. Less than two months after I earned my GED, the world changed completely. We were no, not able to have our 2020 GED graduation. Americans paid attention, stayed in, and masked up, not only for our own safety, but also for others, especially the most vulnerable among us. Sure, there were disagreements, and we tried. We, we became tired of living a sheltered life. But as a community, as a nation, and as a world, we have made it to the other side and better and stronger because we made sacrifices for the good of each other. So for my fellow graduates and for all of you who have joined us tonight, I will leave you with a quote from Dr. Seuss. To the world you may be one person, but to one person you may be the world. I hope you all will keep this quote in mind as we leave this auditorium tonight and begin a new life for ourselves and for one another. Congratulations, graduates, and thanks to everyone who made this possible. Thank you, Shakina and Rosie, both very inspiring words. And now, what everyone has come for, the graduation certificates. I will ask Mr. Kelly and Dr. Heron to come forward to help award these certificates. Mrs. Stedman and Mr. Swenson will assist. I have to give further instructions to our students. So students, this year, instead of going down the steps and around in front of the stage, once you receive your certificate, you are going to go back behind the chairs and back to your seat, full circle. We're ripping off the band-aid. Right. <laughs> First row, if you'd please stand. Our first graduate is Francisco Castro Perdomo. Tristan Fox. Clary Sandoval Santos. Graciela Torres Mason. 
Maria del Rosario Zeladon Pineda. Jaden Allen. Isaiah Bowling. Paige Bresnahan. Second row, if you could stand up. Isaiah Brown. Matthias Campbell. Shakina Ford. Brendan Franklin. Charles Harris. Ivy Hench. Zoe Ludwig. Lindsay May. Nicholas Papadopoulos. Gabriel Perez. Let's see. Next one, Thomas Poitras. Thomas Poitras. Yep. Yeah. Okay. Carla Quezada Martinez. Caleb Sheldon. Enrique Venegas Escobar. And lastly, Stephen Smith. So a hand once more, ladies and gentlemen, for our 2020-2021 graduates. Graduates, this is a very exciting time for you all, the culminating event in your high school careers. You've been given some inspiration tonight from both speakers, your peers, and my hope is that you'll digest that and let it motivate you to keep learning and growing. I leave you with one more quote to hear tonight, and that's from Abraham Lincoln. The best way to predict the future is to create it. So we all expect you to go out into the world and make things happen. Your education has not ended this evening with this graduation ceremony. Now, if you will all rise, I have one final task for you to complete before you can leave this evening. If you will please move your tassel from the right side to the left side. You are officially graduates. Congratulations. everyone for your attendance. If you will please stand, our graduates will now recess. We'll have our back row lead the way out.